And I don't know where you've been, but you're going to respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Ashley Herrera is suing Tiffany Silva in the amount of $847.16. Miss Herrera claims she enrolled her daughter at her cousin's dance studio and says Miss Silva criticized and told her teen lies. Miss Silva is countersuing for $720. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may be seated. Both litigants have been sworn in. Thank you. State your name? Ashley Herrera. Ma'am? Tiffany Silva. All right, and ma'am, you're suing the defendant for $847.16. That's correct. Because you allege she is responsible for your daughter dropping out of a dance class. Is yes. that correct? Yes, that's correct. And you are counter suing? Yes. For $720. Yes. Alleging that the plaintiff's daughter caused trouble. She made the choice to drop her daughter out of the dance And so why do you, why are you feel you're entitled to $720? Be because I feel I helped her and I gave her a discount, which I didn't have to, and I'm countersuing for the amount that she owes me for those six months that I discounted her, the price of the classes. Okay. Give me some background. Start with you. Okay. Well, we're in Orlando, Florida, and she's my cousin. And my daughter was going through a time where she was not having friends and low self-esteem and just going through things. And um, it was her idea that she goes to her dance class. And I agree because I remember in school she was really good at it. I took her to therapy and stuff. But That's what I was going to ask, whether she yeah. was a therapist. Yeah, she was seeing a therapist. She's a therapist? No, I'm not. I'm oh. a dance instructor. I'm I sorry. know. I'm I sorry. thought you might have been doing both. A lot of people have two jobs. I mean. Because that's I mean, what I was going to suggest. That's what your daughter needed, really. If yes, she had yes. low self-esteem, one yeah. of the things she needed is someone to figure out perhaps why that is. And yeah. so tell me about the dance class. So it's contemporary dance. I don't know much, but my daughter does. All I know is that it was working. Okay. But six months ago, I was having trouble with work. I'm a hairstylist. And... Um, so I told her I have to take her out because I couldn't afford it. And she said, don't worry about it. You know, no, I never said that. I'm sorry, Jackson, but okay. I never go said ahead. that. If you want, I could read it clear from the text message that you sent. No, yeah, you go ahead and you Is that okay, it. Your Honor? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay so here she wrote, because I was explaining that I don't really have money. And then you said, oh, I have a solution. I said, well, $240 a month. And then, uh, I said, well, I said, it's out of my budget. And you said, just pay me half. And I go, are you sure? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. I offer you a discount at that time. you just said that, that you didn't say that. Yes, no. no. She didn't say that no. she didn't say that. Oh. You, she's saying what she said. 120 a month is what you all agreed to. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. But we were talking about you pulling your daughter out because you couldn't afford it at all. So um, there was a competition coming up, and... It was expensive. I had to buy her costumes, and then I had to pay for plane tickets. And at that point, I'm just maxing out my credit cards. You know, it was a complete sacrifice, but she's doing so well in the class and all these things. But then my daughter comes home, and she's crying and hysterical. And, I, and it was odd for me, because usually she has fun when she comes back. And she was saying that, that she was off mark, and that she kept messing up, and that perhaps it's because she's chasing the boys like her mama. She told and you that? She, she told Bianca that. And I thought that was completely out of order. You know, like, I'm in shock. She said that to your daughter. Yes. And your daughter came home and told you. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. And How did you respond to that? I was vexed. I went over to her office. I, OK, I got crazy, you know, but how can she do that? This is my cousin. What but did I do? 
I didn't do anything. You embarrassed her in front of I everybody didn't. in the class. I didn't. I didn't. Huh? You, you, you give me some background, ma'am, on the agreement and how it went during the da dance uh, sessions and whether you said anything negative about her mother. I, I didn't. I okay. pulled her out alone and I had a real conversation with her. She was messing up my whole choreography. She fell during the pirouettes. She was going too slow on the kick and ball change all the time. But all she the was new. No, she wasn't. She had been going for a year at that point, and there was a well, dance that's, a, that's new for some people. No, yeah, okay, that's new for some people, yes. But I wasn't, what I'm trying to say is I wasn't being too hard. The, she was distracted. It was obviously that she was distracted. And I just was doing the best for her as family. What did you say to her when you pulled her out? Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This but is no, exactly. But, but, but I you should not, see during holidays. No, this is no, just complete no, madness. No. for defamation, ma'am. Exactly. It's not defamation because it's true. And later, you lost them. He didn't lose anything. You lost them. You have lost your own item. You were negligent. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Ashley Herrera, who is suing her cousin Tiffany Silva for $847.16. Well, I said I would hate for you to not perform as well because of all this noise and these boys and all this silliness. Like she was oh, in a- the boys that the young lady was yes, involved with. Yes. Not that her mother was involved I mean with. her mother, I mean, come on. Her mother, we all know, and I'm not lying right now. We, we all know, all know. <laughs> we all know, know her woman. mother also went through the same, the same thing. Ex this but is no, exactly, but, up, but you I should see not, during holidays. No, this is no. just complete no, madness. No. for defamation, ma'am. Ex it's not defamation because it's true. We both, you, we that's both the know one defense to defamation is truth. But <laughs> I heard that, and it's true. We can all agree about that. But anyway. See, she's not agreeing. <laughs> Are you talking about we can all agree that she's a loose woman or whatever, looks Well, she's boys denying that because it's convenient for her. She's denying that because she did something that wasn't right, which is coming to my office and being like waving her hands all over my face. She was disrespecting me. So I had to put a stop well, to it. She busted your office after her daughter told you what she said. I'm sure she did. And yeah. what did she say when she came into your office? What, what was she saying to well, you? Well, she was, it was saying a lot what of craziness. told her daughter? No, she was saying a lot of craziness. Things, like what? Things About out of what? order. Like that I speak uh, uh, gossip and uh, I, don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think that speaking your truth makes you a criminal, Your you Honor. You said you heard from someone else. From I heard my you mom. Say, my your mom, mom likes to gossip. Your mama that? gossip? What make you think your mama don't gossip? Your mama gossip just like anybody else. She, she might would, gossip she, more. No, Does she no. work full time? Yeah, no, she does would. your mother work full time? You brought her into this. Does your mother work full time? She does. Your what does she gossip to at work then? This is not gossip. They she gonna, she gonna get fired. She witnessed it. She grew up with her mom, which is the sister, and she saw it. And because of it. She saw what? What exactly did she see? Fooling around and dropping out. I'm Fooling sorry, I was just doing boy. the best for the daughter, and I didn't intend to harm her. I was doing this to protect her, because it also affects my well, business. Well, you needed some protection, I'm sure, after you just said that to that woman, and she busted in your office. What did she say then? I have been so kind to them. I gave them a discount. Oh, really? Pulling the young lady aside and telling her that her mother has wild ways. I didn't uh, say that. I didn't say that. It's not being good to them. I didn't say that, Your Honor. The, the ass is you even admitting it. I didn't you're say admitting, that. You're admitting you're everybody knows what she does. Yeah, we can all agree that but nobody that knows this the woman. Point. That wasn't the point of that it conversation. It is. It's the very, it was the point when she busted your office, I promise you. No, that wasn't the point. Oh, yes, it was. Okay. Why do you think she busted your office disrespecting you? You're talking about her, this young girl's mama to her. And but she's young. She got to talk to her, dad, her about daughter her. about some gossip that you done got That's from your mama. But I'm not going to let you besmirch this woman in front of her daughter. So what is the lawsuit for, ma'am? The lawsuit mm -hmm. is to have my money, for her to pay for my 
airplane tickets and to pay for the costumes because there were a lot of money. Airplane tickets? What does that have to do with the dancing? Well, they were in a competition, mm -hmm. and the competition was that same month, and so it was required that we buy the costumes, which okay. is very expensive, and then also the plane tickets. Okay. So all of it came to $847.16. And even though you pulled your daughter out of the program, the dance class, because it was a hostile environment and she could no longer participate because of an environment she created. Yes. And you want compensation because... Had she not created a negative environment, your daughter would have participated and your money would have been used properly. Yes. And you wouldn't have lost all your money. I wouldn't have lost all my Ma money. Ma'am, what do you say to that? She's making a lot of sense. Who would want to bring their child back somewhere where you're talking about her mama to her? I wasn't talking about her you mama. You were. You've admitted that. Why do you say it? As we all know. Isn't that what you say? Isn't that how you said it? And we, we all know. Not in front of the other girls, and she, I did not create. No, I did not create a hostile environment. Everybody, I can bring witnesses. Your I Honor, can bring. I have. I have fifty clients, and they all enjoy very much. And even side. Bianca, she knows how much her life changed because of these dance classes. Ma'am, when she, what amounts to kicking down your door, after you talked about her daughter and came in there and verbally uh, said it offended you in every manner she could, it was hostile, I promise you. I don't know if you know it or not. She was, she hostile, was hostile to me. Yes, but she was. So there was a hostile environment that you created by approaching her minor child, telling her minor child about her mother's grown-up activities in a detrimental way. That's what you did, I and she shouldn't have went back. What's your counterclaim for? What you want money for? Well, I give her a discount, and she's treating me disrespectfully again. And I didn't go to Bianca, okay, to talk about her mother. That was not the point of why it I was went the to her. Very, it was my point, and the, po the other what point is your claim is dismissed and yours Wait. is granted. Have a good day. Now you talk about his mom and see how that worked out. All right. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $847.16. The other mothers in the class, they told me it's that you true. told them it's not that, she was, they, that we were paying $120. They can testify and I'm going to counter You know suit. what? You I'm are just counter so... Suit. I'm going to free you and your mother. Ladies, 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 ladies. Coming up, you put it in an open and obvious location for any stranger to have access to it. Anybody. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Ethan Gregory is suing Michael Tommins in the amount of $347.30. Mr. Gregory claims he left his headphones at the defendant's vacation rental and says after Mr. Tommins found them, they disappeared again. State your name. Your Honor, my name is Ethan Gregory. I'm originally from Los Angeles. Ain't nobody ask you all that? I don't care where you from. Okay. Well, state your name, sir. My name is Michael Tomins. All right. Give me some background on you. Sure. I'm suing the defendant. He is the landlord that I rented the property from. It was a one-bed, one-bath rental unit. The issue was not during the stay. The issue is, once I realized that my beautiful headphones were misplaced, I texted him, the landlord, and he told me that the cleaning lady found them and okay. that he had them and he was going to leave them in the front of the house in the left bush of the property. And I was like, okay, fine. I will come and pick them up, even though he said he was going to be there Now you get into a problem. Leave them in the bushes. Go ahead. And I actually didn't make it until 9.30, and when I got there, they were nowhere to be found. So they went from lost to found to being lost again. Or stolen. Or stolen. Well, certainly, sir. You put those earphones, you put it in an open and obvious location for any stranger to have access to it. Anybody. Your Honor, he was missing these earbuds for three days before he contacted me to begin with. Six months before the plaintiff's stay, I changed my policy that I'm no longer responsible for lost items. The reason for this is I used to get everything I could find for everybody. It was a full-time job for me, okay? You know, you find if, my I underwear, found, if I, I think found I things, left, I was a hero. I think I left my underwear over there. Coming up. We gonna prosecute him? It's a good Samaritan. He's trying to do what he could. His efforts just failed. He 
had no responsibility. You knew that. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Ethan Gregory, who is suing Michael Tommins for property loss. Did you change it in writing? Do I have something in writing to I change do. the policy? And Let me see it, please, Amir. And if you read it, it says I'm not responsible for okay. uh, any lost items. And it also says if they are stolen, I'm not responsible. Your Honor, I am aware of the rules, which I saw on the rental website, and I was okay with it. The only reason I'm pressing charges is because he found them. So I feel like once he found them, his rules did not apply. He assumed responsibility. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. your legal theory. The, yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's a relatively uh, sound legal theory with the exception that if he was really a good Samaritan. You can and say good that. good Samaritans shouldn't be prosecuted. The law, we also have a sound law. We use the example in the law of a doctor riding down the street. He sees somebody in distress. He stops to help, but he's unsuccessful. We're going to prosecute him. He's a good Samaritan. He's trying to do what he could. His efforts just failed. He had no responsibility. You know that. The good Samaritan, when you called him, said, okay, I'll look. He could have said, well, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Don't call me about that mess. Yeah, he could have said that. And he wouldn't hold you a dime. He was a good Samaritan trying to do right by you. They were lost. You lost them. He didn't lose anything. You lost them. You have lost your own items. You were negligent. He wasn't negligent. How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. So, sir, that's the law. And you have a right to believe and you are close to the law. You just forgot the second, the exception to that law. And the exception is the Good Samaritan law. Somebody tries to help you get out of a jam and they have no responsibility to help you. See, but it is his property. All merchants are not nice people. He is, however. Not from my experience. I need those headphones for work. I have very <laughs> bad <laughs> hearing, and I need if them. Those headphones Where you work, so sir? Hold on. Let me let him floss again. You know, now, if, you know he like to talk you know, big. If, let him talk big. Okay. Go ahead. What you need? Where do you work? I work from home for a very big streaming company. I knew it had to be big. So, you know, he don't do nothing little. That's right. Mm -hmm. I like that about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I need to hear every single word that my coworkers and anybody from higher up has to say, so I don't get in trouble. The only problem with that is. If you're so big, you don't need that $347 and your claim is dismissed. He was doing a favor for you as a good Samaritan and just because he's failed, you cannot sue a good Samaritan. Have a good day, claim Thank is you. dismissed. All rise. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. Do you have any uh, last words for each other? No, the judgment's music to my ears. You know, as my housing policy states, uh, I'm not responsible for any lost or stolen items. I believe in Yelp reviews, and you're going to get a bad one. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.